Yes. <clears throat> Let us come back. We've already done the Arrhenius equation uh, for uh, comparing or uh, this relating between the rate constant as well as rise in temperature, isn't it? So let us start with the numer solving a numerical so that you'll get clear idea of the Arrhenius equation. So now uh, a numerical is given to me. So let us write the data and what, what should we find out? So first, right. Directly the data is given to me like this. What do they give us? T1 is equal to 700k, T2 is equal to 800k, K1 is equal to 2 mole inverse liter second inverse, K2 is equal to 32 mole inverse L second inverse. What should I find out? I have to estimate Ea. Correct. Okay, done. So, Arrhenius equation as we have already written. So, what do we write Arrhenius equation? It is a relation between K equal to Ea by 2.303. Correct. This is what we have written. R into 1 by T1 <coughs> minus okay, T2. We have written that. Okay, T2 by T1. But here, what did we take? We have taken log, isn't it? Log K1 by K2. You remember? Maybe uh, because uh, please go through the previous video. Log because of that I have written 2.30 multiplied with 3.303 here. This is what we have written. Now suppose if I solve this particular thing. Basically we take LCM isn't it? Which we have learnt. If I take LCM for this what do I get? I get log K1 by K2 is equal to Ea by 2.303. R hope I I should not do the LCM now. Take the LCM for this. What do I get? Same, just simple. I've written as T1 and T2, right? <laughs> when I've written T1 and T2, so uh, this particular thing, if I cancel, I means uh, so many times of this. If I do, I get T1. Yes, minus T2. Simple. Hope you know this LCM. Just take it and do it. I'm not doing it here. Right. Now, let us substitute the values and see. What do I get? I get log K1 by K2. What is K1? So, log 2 mole inverse liter second inverse divided by K2 is 32 mole inverse liter second inverse. Right? Now, let me write this answer here. I need the board huh? is equal to what do I have? Ea. I have to find out Ea by 2.303. Now, what is R? R is a gas constant, isn't it? So, what is the value? It is 8.314. Here, I am picking up Joule, Kelvin inverse, mole inverse. I am picking up this unit here. Right. Now, yes. Now, write this 8.314 Joule, Kelvin inverse, mole inverse. Yes. Into, right, T1 minus T2. 700 minus 800 K. Let me put this in bracket divided by T1 into T2 <coughs> 700 into 800 but here it is K square isn't it yes because K and K correct K square now just see <coughs> if I have to get this Ea now try to solve this equation I think you'll get around an answer of minus 1.2 or something right 1.24 or something right now observe this and this unit gets cancelled correct mole and mole now what am I left with Ea by this whole thing you multiply <coughs> right you 2.303 into 8314 right now here what do I get here I have still Joule Kelvin inverse mole inverse yes or no yeah now if I solve this this becomes 100 K by and you solve this 700 into 800 K square now why am I doing this I'm just showing it to you now here I have to know the units. So now you try to solve this Ea if I have to get you just multiply minus 1.2 into 2.303 into 8.314 Joule Kelvin and you have this factor this also you can take. Right. Now why am I trying to explain this is here after solving you get an answer of 128880. Now I am bothered with the units just observe carefully. Now this K this k and this k correct now this is this 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 one this k and this k all get cancelled out yes what am i left with i'm left with this answer and joule mole inverse this is your answer 
this is what i want to explain so the terms and the units are very very important please note carefully i've written the arrhenius equation i've taken the lcm and i've written this then i have substituted the values given to me then i have calculated i've cancelled the common terms here important most of the students do a mistake here they don't take k square remember for both you have to take cancel this term this and this finally you get an answer that answer you get it as joule per mole units equation maybe by this the whole uh, topic will be covered so let us see so what do they give us <coughs> let us write the data so the rate constant of the first order reaction becomes four times the temperature is raised. okay right little bit different let us solve this so uh, what should i calculate i have to calculate ea fine what is given to me the r value is given to me 8.314 nothing else is given to me so i have to do the uh, or i have to calculate ea using arrhenius equation so write the arrhenius equation what is arrhenius equation log k1 by k2 is equal to minus ea by 2.303 r 1 by t1 minus 1 by t2 this is what is your arrhenius equation now but there's one clue given to us they've given us the rate constant of the first order reaction becomes four times when the temperature is raised from 350 to 410 okay t1 is given to me so i can write t1 is equal to 350 kelvin t2 given as 410 kelvin hmm. they said the rate constant yes becomes four times they said that means suppose if i assume k value that is your k1 value as k just let us assume and k2 value has become four times the set i can write 4k correct now substitute log k by 4k because it is written four times is equal to minus ea by 2.303 the gas constant value is given to us it is 8.314 so units are already there j k inverse mole inverse correct now into right it is <coughs> now what is the temperature 350 suppose if i take lcm as i said earlier this becomes 350 into 410 correct k square i already told in the previous question and when i subtract this 350 minus this one 410 i get 60 yeah now right this is your sum now how to solve this here uh, k and k gets cancelled yeah what do we have we have I, when ea comes on this side ea is equal to your log 4 into 2.303 into 8.314 yes into 350 into 410 divided by yes 60 yes i solved that particular lcm point what do i get i get when i solve i get an answer of 27570 now i already told in the previous video how did this get cancelled your k k and k this is also k isn't it your k this k this k and this k i already showed it please watch the previous video also now i'm left over with joule mole inverse that's it this is your sum